Appraisal contingency waiver. Beware of these appraisal pitfalls. In this highly competitive market, appraisal contingency waivers are one of the strategies that buyers and their agents are using to win the offer. As a reminder, the appraisal contingency waiver is when the buyer is waiving the appraisal contingency that is part of the Arizona purchase contract. So if they're not waiving the appraisal contingency, then they actually will have up to five days after receipt of the valuation based on the appraisal to cancel the contract and get their earnest money back, or they could potentially go back into negotiations. But in this market, we see many buyers waiving that appraisal contingency, which essentially means that it doesn't matter what the house is gonna appraise at, they're buying that house or they can't get out of the contract if the house doesn't appraise for at least the purchase price. So today, I wanna take that thought and really talk about some of the pitfalls of who the appraisal company is, especially in those types of situations. I recently had a buyer who was referred to us by a real estate agent and we had them pre-qualified, but they had decided that they were going to use one of the big online lenders. Well, in our situation, our appraisers have geographic competency. So we use an independent appraisal roster, but every all the appraisers on that roster have been vetted. And when we're ordering an appraisal through our appraisal department, the appraisal department is placing that with an appraiser who has geographic competency. But many times you're not gonna get that same type of situation if a, if a borrower is using one of the big lending institutions, whether it's a big bank or whether it's one of the big internet lenders in the nation, most of those types of lenders use these national appraisal management companies. And very often what we hear in those situations is you may have a scenario where the appraiser is actually up in Prescott and they're gonna drive down to Gilbert or the Phoenix area to perform the appraisal. Now I would contend that if that appraiser is not in this market, not in Maricopa County, they probably do not have the same geographic competency that an appraiser that does. So this is a game changer and something that is so very often forgotten, especially with the real estate community and certainly with lenders. When a borrower is talking to us and they're doing rate shopping, right? An interest rate is an important piece of the puzzle, but it's not the entire story. Because if somebody else can offer a lower interest rate, but that appraisal comes in way lower because they have an appraiser that doesn't have geographic competency, that in itself could cost the buyer a lot more money than paying a slightly higher interest rate. So it's one of those things that I think I wanted to remind everybody because I just had this conversation with the real estate agent the exact same scenario her buyer was using this big online lender and you know she was just f floored with the lack of knowledge that the appraiser had that was appraising the property and yes that buyer did waive the appraisal contingency so a lot was at stake based on that appraisal as a reminder if that if the appraisal contingency has been waived then from a lending perspective, the lender is going to lend on the lower of the two, market value or the purchase price. So let's say that the list price of the house was $600,000. And as the buyer's agent, you're comping the house out and you think it's probably going to appraise at $575,000. So the lender and the buyer's agent prepare the buyer to have to pay the $25,000 plus their down payment but let's say that there wasn't a great appraisal done and now the house appraises at 550. In that scenario, now the buyer is putting their down payment based on the 550 appraised value, plus they're going to have to cover the difference between the appraised value and the purchase price. So in this case, it could actually be another $25,000 that the buyer was not expecting but now based on that appraisal scenario is having to bring to the table. In that scenario, what if the buyer doesn't have the additional money? Remember, the purchase contract actually has two reasons why a borrower may not receive their earnest money back, one of which is not having their down payment funds. So it's risky to put buyers in that situation and have them not really understand when they're choosing a lender, 
obviously interest rates were important closing costs were important the ability to close on time is important the ability to make sure you're talking and working with an experienced team important especially if there's anything unique in their scenario but the appraisal is as important today and probably more than it has ever been when you're talking to lenders because let's face it lots of lenders are reaching out they want to talk to you they want your business it's a great question to ask a lender tell me about your appraisal process many of the local mortgage bankers in town do have an approved appraiser roster and are working with appraisers that have geographic competency but there are going to be bigger institutions out there and great loan officers but if they're working for a platform where that's not the case you need to know that as a real estate agent and further when you have buyers that maybe are leaning towards one of these big internet platforms make sure they're asking the lender about the appraisal process if they're using a big national amc and also can they absolutely without a doubt guarantee that that appraiser is going to have geographic competency that's appraising their home especially if they waived the appraisal contingency if you receive value out of this video please give it a like and please do me a favor and subscribe to this channel i truly have a passion for education and i want you and your buyers to be in the know when it comes to the home loan process so please take a moment and subscribe if you have questions comment below or feel free to give me a call you know where to reach me i would love an opportunity to talk with you soon